Yo, welcome to a new video. So today I'm gonna break down how I made this super dark and aggressive Afro techno track because I was super inspired. If you haven't checked out my previous video where I showed off what's upcoming in my upcoming album, you should definitely check out my previous video. But how I started this track is I started with some really solid drums. I started with a kick which is this one here and then I started to add some sounds after that and you can see all these drums was just using the step sequencer I wasn't like really dropping samples into the arrangement like that so I could just get the groove going then I also added that sound there and then I also added that then I also added a tom right there. And if you want any samples or any presets like that, you, you can definitely check out the links down below so you can support the channel and so you can have the right sounds for the right kind of music that you want to make. Make sure to hit the link down below and also some project files as well while you add it. And then after that, what I what I wanted to start with just to get the, the idea started kicked off was an arpeggio. So I use this sound here. So this plug in ES2, it's called Saturn Lead. It just goes like that. Ah, oh, super, super solid sound, bro. Just goes like that. And then I also layered it with another sound, which is a super saw lead. Just to add some layering to it. Just playing the same thing. Then after that, I wanted to add that signature, kind of like a rolling bass. And I just made sure I EQ out some low frequencies out there. And I also layered it with this rain harp sound. Just to make it special, so it doesn't sound like, you know, like anyone else's sound. Just like that. And then the exciting part was I also had to throw in like a really nice bass just to you know uh, make sure that it sounds really nice and afro to have that afro tech sound you hear that bum 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 just like that and then i added some two pads which is this bright strings here it's also an es2 sound and then I also added another layer of this jitter strings. I always make sure I layer my sounds in twos or even in threes just to make sure that, you know, the sound is different. I like to always layer my sounds no matter what. And then after that, I also added this deep wave bass. So this is what it sounds like with the bass. And I'm sure you can notice that my as, as my bass was playing, I was opening up the cutoff, you know, just to, to make sure that the bass moves around a little bit so that it can kind of move, you know, to build up that tension, to build up that energy. And then last but not least, I also added a grand piano. So this is the grand piano right here. Logic is really amazing stock sounds, bro. So it's just coming out of the uh, just the, the the sampler. So it's just a, a Steinway grand piano. <laughs> that sounded like some Tupac right there. <laughs> okay, so the piano comes in just right here by the transition point. Right here. Just like that. Ooh, I love that, bro. And then after that, I had to add some vocal effects, like right here in the second part here. It 
it was just like a like a, a vocal loop that I just threw in there just to add something. And then at the beginning of this track, I added this sound here. It's just like a vocal sound that I threw in there at the beginning. You can hear that, right? I just made sure I throw, threw on some delay on it just to make it, you know, not cut because it's a longer sample you can see there but i just had to trim it down and then i also added some effects like that right there just doing some random stuff right there and then i also added a crash and another symbol right there so a crash here and then I've got a, a house symbol right there and then I just thought you know what what the hell let me add a countdown you know to kind of uh, take us into kind of the, the the B section of the track which just goes like oh I love that bro and then I also threw in like a hat to add the energy from this section here and then i just also threw in this uh, this other sound here just on the off beat, just that sound there, just to just to add some nice swing and some nice groove to the track. So all in all, it, it just came out amazing. I love this composition. I can't wait to finish it and arrange it. So I think how the track is going to start is it's going to be like no bass and then no pads and then it's gonna start like this just like that just like that as it begins and then later on down the line then i can start to bring in you know the bass line like this Then later on I can bring in these other sounds here. These pads. Oh bro, this this sounds so amazing, bro. I love how this sound. If I blow up, don't say that I was gatekeeping this information. Ain't no gatekeeping over here, bro. That's why I'm sharing how I made this, how I broke this down. But I'm definitely gonna drop this as a full track, so stay tuned for that. And also, don't forget to check the links in the description if you want any of the sounds that I use here on the channel. But anyways, I just wanted to break down this track to show you how I made it. But I'm gonna definitely finish it up, add a few more things, so that when you hear the final product, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a whole different experience from what you just heard just now but anyway thank you so much for watching like subscribe share the video i'm gonna see you in my next video i'm x and i'm out peace